She helped rescue her mother from a house fire. And tonight, a nine-year-old girl is being called a hero. Wayne 15's Brianna Brownlee spoke with that family today, and Bree joins us live from the home where the fire happened. Bree. Dirk and Alyssa, we are here live on Red Hall Drive, and this is where the fire took place last week. Now, if you take a look over here, you can see that this area is boarded up. That's because that's where the mother was trapped during the fire. Luckily, her nine-year-old daughter thought quickly and got her rescued. In a matter of moments. It's like a burning rubber, burning metal smell. Uh, and that smell, you just can't get it out of your head. The unthinkable happened. It's like every time I hear water or see water, I always get that smell because it reminds me of the fire department going to hose. After sleeping for about an hour, the Butler family was woken by smoke in their fire alarm. That was the very first thing, get my kids out. Carrie Butler, six-year-old son with autism, along with her older daughter, Abby, were able to army crawl and get out the house. But once they made it outside, they noticed they were missing someone. Their mother was still trapped in the basement. Yeah, I wouldn't be open. window. It's yeah, surprising. So I opened that door, and just the, a huge gust of super hot smoke just came in my face and made my face all black. So, and I broke the bottom window to unlock it, but the fire was like right in front of it. So I couldn't. After reality set in that she wasn't going to be able to save her mother alone, she jetted to the fire station right next to her house. Um, there was a moment there where I didn't think I was going to get out. Um, I ended up calling my husband while I was in there and I just let him know, hey, the kids are out. The house is on fire. Just know that they're safe. But if I don't get out, I love you. <laughs> Neighbors did call 911 about the fire, but the fire department wasn't dispatched just yet. But with Abby thinking quick on her feet, she got her mom help in the nick of time. It'll be around six to eight months before the butlers can go back home, but through this dark cloud of smoke. Um, I'm very happy that we have a place to stay and people that are willing to help us. Uh, I'm blessed. Now here's a photo of the butler's cat, Nala. He is still missing and they aren't sure if he was in the house or if he wandered off. If you see him, I will have information on our website later on today on how you can contact the family. Also, a local martial arts studio did start a donation bin for the family. To see how you can donate, I'll have that on the website as well. Reporting live from the Northeast of Fort Wayne, Brianna Brownlee.